today I want to show you the plant that we chose for our perennial for the Oklahoma Proven Program for 2022. Uh, this is a great plant. Uh, the genus is Hookera uh, or coral bells. Um, there's actually several species. They are native to North America. But this is a fun plant. It's very colorful. Over the last decade or two, the breeders have done a lot of work with this plant and uh, really, really improved it. And there's all kinds of different cultivars and varieties out there. Uh, this one here you can see has a nice, under, the underside of the leaf is a bright purple uh, and the upper side of the leaf uh, is a dark green with kind of a silvery cast between the veins. And then it also has this light airy flowering stem with little tiny pinkish bell shaped flowers. But they come in a wide variety of colors. There's some really dark purple colors, um, some orangish colored varieties and some really bright ones like uh, a chartreuse or lime colored. Um, they do very well in shady conditions and semi-shady conditions. Some of them will tolerate full sun if you provide adequate moisture to them. Now the darker colored varieties, they tend to tolerate more sunlight than the lighter ones do, the, the chartreuse and lime colored ones. You know, sometimes you can put them out in full sun, uh, but make sure you have adequate water available to them. The lighter colored ones have a tendency to burn up in the sun, so they're best provided in the shade. Because of that light, bright green color, they really stand out nicely in the shade as well. Now the flower colors, they come in a few a range of colors as well. They can be from red to pink to white. You can see that this is kind of the habit of hookeras or coral bells. They grow in a, in a clump habit. They don't spread a lot. Um, so, you know, you can create a really nice ground cover by placing them fairly close together. Now, some of the plants are more drought tolerant than others. Uh, again, depending on the parentage of the hybrids that are, that are out there. Um, they do have a very shallow fibrous root system. So you do want to be sure to provide uh, moisture, especially during the driest times of the year. I mean, you want to make sure that uh, the crown isn't too exposed during the winter months. It's a good idea to uh, mulch around them during the winter um, because otherwise uh, if they're exposed they're, the, the, frost, the frost and freeze heaving of the soil will push them right out of the ground and expose the crown of the plant which can cause some winter damage. So if you're looking for a great perennial, um, long lasting, some of them can be, per, um, can be evergreen and some of them are deciduous depending on the, the year, the, the, the severity of our, our winters as well as the cultivar but uh, they're great long lasting perennials that provide all kinds of color for you. So often in the spring when we start planting our landscape, we're looking for We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Music